Oh god! Welcome back to the channel everyone. I am Captain Clayton and you are not. In today's GTA Online video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get inside of the Space Stalker Garage in Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, this is a method that I've done before. I haven't done this exact method before. I used to fly under the map to get there. This time you can do it in a public lobby and no deluxo necessary. And just like yesterday's video, you're going to need an insurgent with the back door off. I will link a video in the description showing you how to do that. But the Space Stalker Garage is located right here on the map. It's out in Sandy Shores area. And just bring your insurgent right over to this trailer here. Uh, you'll know it because it's got all the peace signs and it's very colorful. But you're parking it right next to the garage door. From there, all you're doing is you're going to do the same thing as how we got into Trevor's Torture Lab. You're going to jump into the back of the insurgent then into the front seat and then start running while aiming your gun towards the garage door now you do have the chance to fail as you see that happened to me there I flew right into the garage roof there um, sometimes you fly high into the air and you don't actually lose any health when you when that happens so that's kinda cool but anyway if you fail just try it again run into the back of the insurgent run into the the front seat and just keep pushing yourself through that door and eventually you make yourself or you make your way inside the Space Docker Garage from the story mode in Grand Theft Auto V. Now, there's not too much to do in this room at all. It's a very small area. Um, the only thing really cool to look at are the colorful lights, but not, there's no interactive things at all. Once you shoot things, nothing happens. Nothing moves in here whatsoever. Uh, what I find neat about this location is it is from the story mode, but it's only in the story mode if you do all those little side missions, which I actually didn't. I didn't know about this thing until I saw this on, I think it was probably YouTube a few years ago, uh, the Space Docker vehicle in the Space Docker garage. This is something like... When I played the campaign mode of Grand Theft Auto, I didn't mess around with all those side missions. I was more interested in the storylines and, you know, watching the great writing that was Rockstar at the time. And just following the story, once I did that, I was done with the game. Like, I didn't really go on all these side tracks because they're not as cool. This is one that I wish I would have done, but I didn't know about it. And it's too late in the game for me to kind of go back to Grand Theft Auto story mode and play all that again. I'm, I'm over it now, but... That's why I like coming here and online. I can still look at it. And as far as I could tell, the only way to get out of the Space Docker Garage was to kill yourself. But that is a fairly simple method on how to get inside that Space Docker Garage. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you did this in uh, the campaign mode and if you're more familiar with what happens, because I honestly have no clue why this thing exists. So let me know in the comments below. You can always let me know in my PS4 community, Captain Clayton Gaming, if you are on PS4. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure you do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitter, and until next time, folks, take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe.